Welcome to yet another episode of Reality Check. My name is Tamara and Kama Kawaida. I am joined by amazing people, so I'm just going to let them introduce themselves. Uh, one on one. And since Nona Leoni, okay, no, it's 50 50. We can start with the Gaudium. Whoever just wants to introduce themselves. To start. Wow, I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> well, my name is uh, Sylvia Bidinho. Yeah, and. Um, I just, I'm glad to be here. Lena Brown, here's how I'm look alike. Raw hair. Thanks. Raw hair. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, Robert Amo, aka John Wolfgang Buckwood Amo. Mm. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to pull what those else? in the building. I'll talk more later. <laughs> what else? Anyway, anyway. What? So, in case you're joining us, Karibu Sana, uh, today we're going to talk about reality mm-hmm. versus now the life expectations, you know? Because, hey, Manze, to grow up, there are a lot of things that we expected or you were told um, are going to come through or are going to happen, or you thought Zico, but then all of a sudden, Love coming, yeah. I'm telling you. So, the honors number one. Um, in my entire life, I had never imagined that my parents also go through mental issues, you know. Like, when you're to say, My oh, like, right now, I'm like, I'm depressed, I'm stressed, I'm anger, what you know. Mm-hmm. In one, in no point have I ever thought that, eh, hey, mzee Ali your age and maybe Ali go through the same thing and that they're still like healing in the process of healing, you know. So like reality slapped me when I started experiencing it and I'm like, huh. So Pia my dad sits down and he's like stressed, or my mom, and they're depressed, you know. Mm-hmm. It's just so sad. It's just so sad. Like at the nakawa to Azima. And, hey, Jesse, what, what was he, man? What were people yeah. are grown ups yeah. like also go through like the mental issues, you know? And you always tend to forget that they're also human. Exactly. Right? exactly. And I think that really happens ideally because growing up, mm-hmm. when you go to the same time, Nini would they butter? Exactly. Yeah, right now you talk about it. Nini butter. So right now, una, una point, and given some terms, yeah. your folks ask you for money. Like, where are you? I don't know. In Minnesota, in Coco Lake. Do you mean like that? Hey, what do you mean in Minnesota? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, reality may check in. And the kuchapa, my dear. They say that in the United Billions, I walk up and be, eh, see, not a shilling. And they wake up every single morning to go to work. Hey, right now, shaka. Hey, in Africa, they don't even have a shilling to your name. When you're at home, you're not going to work for roots. That's why you're not going to work for roots. I told my mom that, by the way. Kaka, kwa nyumba basi. Until I got employed. Until I got into employment and realized, wait. Mutu yo sota. Ata yo fea ona ifikiri ya tu. Yani unenda job lakini uko like, hii pesa inaweza fanya kitu ingine. You know. Anybody, and imagine now your parent was doing that and still supporting you. Imagine at the same time. Chips. Nowadays I would wake up and and I'm like, okay, I'm taking a shower. Mm-hmm. I don't even have that prayer to get out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just taking this shower. God willing, God willing. Something will happen. <laughs> and, then, and then you go to the stage, you meet that Dondao, yeah? That's your friend, you're like, hey, maze, ni kubad. And he's like, I'm going to get to Tanini Baba. I got you, I got you. And then you're like, whew, at least he may pick up when you're in the end. And then when I figure out, and then you're like expecting something, and then. Shaka. Then I think he. And then you're like, wait. Yeah. That's so sad. Yeah. That's so sad. Because I remember my mom always telling me, Sazile utakuwa mkubwa. Ndio utajua. Ndio utajua. And right now I'm like, Sazile yake yonge I'm like, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I, I understand. Parents are gods. No, yeah. I can enlighten. Me, me, my dad, me, my dad, I think he's, he's more of a, I can say, a realist. Mm-hmm. And I really appreciate that I got that from him at least, Pia. Uh, among other things as well. 
but is a real so yani kwa nianiambia amesota na ria nyama sota now looking back at hizo time yani huko uni eh una tafuta do ya kayumbe alafu na mchapia eh anakwambia eh manze ni kubaya unasema umse manze manami kazi ya ile na wewe una tafuta do ya kayumbe na nini na nini watu wakega Eh alafu ya mkombia ti amesota ni nini uko like au umse sasa ajui ni koyuni like unajua unaanza ku manzo umse ya ajui ni koyuni i need these things ni 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 then now reality checks in when now you uh, ume uko you uko uko past that stage mm-hmm. and now you even probably also trying to support someone as well supporting a sister friend whoever and anakupigia Uh, na kwambia eti kiniache um, manze ni mesota uh, unaweza nitumia wewe uh, unafikiria yuni ulikuwa kayumbe tunamwambia eh hey, kama ni akwenda kayumbe tukatumia <laughs> i know you start like to share the you become the parent you know what the actual sense of this is uh, uh when you remember when you are 1.1 mm-hmm. and then ulikuwa unasema dad dogo and then you unaingia 1.2 hapo tena za sort na hiyo pesa mm. at the end man mm. you know yeah. then you're like you need to eat mm. you need to go out mm. and then for girls in the post you need to dress up mm. i know mm. you need to to have the nails done mm. uh, uh-huh. your hair uh-huh. and there is competition it happens what are kwa hivi you see you see you see for a boy yeah. there are people that are yes okay for me i think that's uh, the one thing that slapped me eh? oh, yeah. like eh hey, it was like we took a ground like we very different you know mm-hmm. and like eh hey, when mzaya kisema sina kisema niko na stress bro apo na stress mm-hmm. you know? think the one thing that hit me when uh, growing up now mm-hmm. was the fact that okay so vile nilianza job nilianza as they uh, don't get internship Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. so ilikuwa mo unapati watu kuenda so it was fun mm-hmm. you know so but then now it fika the point my when my parents now actually you you got my parents were actually moving from Nairobi so now we fika point now um your dad comes my dad came up to me and was like um unajua right now unafaa kujisort unafaa get how unafa ujue vile utakula ni nini all this day mimi nimekuwa tu nikioperate na party wa fair ni nini unafika job unarudi kama food iko yenye pesa yako ni ya pesa yako ni ya kayumbe na drinks pesa yako ni ya kayumbe na clad ni ungare na kayumbe so reality ni check in we now um nimeingia nimeanza job sasa na officially i'm from intani now nimeanza job now you have to connect build now and then come the mbd ni stack software uji ti sort kwanza and then I'm, and then at this time I'm also moving so route to software tafuta ka nyumba ile utako utakuna ka then you figure out how you be and then for you for like the first two months mm-hmm. after that to figure vile uta utakuwa si unalipwa si my dad even when i'm working eh even when i'm going to work every morning if i don't have fare hm mm? i was we've been work to do before yeah, see anytime yeah, i'm yeah. broke this like daddy yeah, let me let me, eh? let me call my na, daddy na na kutumia na na ni tumia despite the fact that i'm going to work kama kama strong good i remember also when i started working mm-hmm. okay so i didn't go through the internship period mm-hmm. in the year 2 job so uh my dad was like 
So I, I did the work for like six months and then I did like uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, I think it's time you, you move out. <laughs> And I'm like, when you're the pain, I'm not sure. I never know. He's like, come on. Being a pastor, you need to have all this put in you, you know, so that you'll be able to take care of your younger siblings. And then, right now, I'm looking at teens. They're like, my bro is like, Dad, I need to go out. He's like, ah, take the car, you go. And then if I ask, Dad, I want to go out. Because he's like, soon as you have to me up here, you can do that. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> why? You know? So at the end of the day, I think um, it has really taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, right now, I can be like, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the time, you're like, um, you want to you want to have a pizza mm -hmm. and then you know now your pizza is one thousand mm -hmm. and then you're like hey. Sila Zima. Sila Zima. Just Sila Sila Zima. You, <laughs> you just talked about Sila. pizza. Yeah. Let me tell you, I I, I went to shop Juzi, yeah? yeah. I went to the supermarket to buy cooking oil. I saw the prices, Kwanza. Because I two liters they are after and talk to me at hand. Two liters. Then I was like, ah, says you know two liters they are after me at hand. So I said. Maybe the supermarket is expensive. Let me go to a, a retail yeah, shop, okay, yeah. a wholesale shop. Says, "Kufika for no liter two liters ya mafuta, five twenty. Because I'm say two liters, five twenty. So I said, no, maybe you're expensive. Mm. I went to another mama. Mm. And I'm like, mafuta two liters. I can yambia. And in yambia, well, yambia five sixteen. How yambia sour? One liter. It's due to what? I'm okay. I ended up buying mafuta half. You know. Then I was I like, know. eh. Uchumi, Uchumi, Uchumi. Mm. Mm. And that time I'm still living at my parents' house. You know, this is my parent who has sent me money and said, Tamara, go and do it. Mm. Show me. Now me I, I was planning to move out. I was <laughs> like, I, I don't think I'm ready. Uh -huh. You know. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I'm not ready. Anyway, you guys, right, guys. Uh, why don't we take a break and then we'll be right back to continue with this particular topic. To reality check, of course, Kama Kawaida. This is a segment where we play uh, this particular game. It's called How Well Do You Know You? Mm -hmm. So basically, I just ask a question, then we answer. Mm -hmm. Is that simple? You know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, question number one How well do you know you? Mm. Ah. I think Orina should do the honors because uh, mm. he decided to do something strange. Which is what it's like. Hey, dropping. So, how well do you know you? This is what I would say. Eh? <laughs> Let's see how well do we know Rina. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't Don't talk. 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 I just need to know my audience to know which character I will play. You play. Yes. Oh my god, I think you've spoken on my behalf. Anyway, yeah. mm, it's like, so how well do I know myself? Uh, basically, I'm an extrovert, but an introvert by choice. Okay. How well do I know myself? Um, so the people. I mean, the depicted character of myself is a very uh, out there person, and um, but deep down, I'm a very soft guy. Um, I'm very, I'm very. To the look, I'm very. I'm very, I'm very soft and and I'm very feeble. I get hurt a lot. Aww, really? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, for me, for me, for me, I give myself on a, on a scale of one to one to ten. How well do I know me? I know myself like at eleven, but there's this particular segment that people tell me of which I hate it a lot. I say, ah, more do it, I'm jua. I know myself better. Thank you. Oh. Anyway, okay. Number two, 
Um, if you would describe the financial situation, what it do, what would it be in numbers? In numbers. Wait, wait, yes. Explain the like numbers. numbers. Yeah, explain the numbers. Explain. Right now, if I could describe my radio situation, at my radio situation, my financial situation, it would be like a radio frequency, ninety-nine point nine. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I do my show. So what's yours? <laughs> so if, I think if you if you're going to use that, I think all of us will. Be. Nah, let's speak for yourself. Uh, what do you want to mm, My financial situation at the moment is at number two. Number two. <laughs> you know, number two is like when you go to the toilet and. Anyway. <laughs> mm. uh, my financial situation currently mm. eh, is it's like. If you may see my in numbers, mm. Uh, mm. probably to be like the Golden Bank scandal. <laughs> <laughs> Interpret it the way you want. <laughs> I am. The man who throws the wallet at us. I'm mm. very comfortable. Mm. What a shame to me, yeah? Mm. 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 This club on the upper club. 1824. But that is now me. That is you. That is now me. Hey, bro, you are richer than us. Ah, yeah. shark. Anyway, anyway, last question. What is the biggest life lesson for you? Hey. Biggest life lesson. Mm. Yeah, that's a that's a that's one to think about. But definitely, uh, and, and what I've come to learn over over time is uh, be yourself. Be yourself. At, at, any, at the end of it, all be yourself because people will um, people will like you for you. People will hate you for you. But at the end of the day. Just be yourself. Oh, me, my biggest lesson. Uh, it is that don't hate to drunk. Uh, live, live on that other person who should you enjoy what he or she is going to. And then you will become more easy. I'm gonna keep mine a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. uh, there is time for everyone. The longer version turned out to have taken me billion. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. 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 For me, um, I think my biggest life lesson that I work with every single day is um, on this particular saying: pick a seat. If the view is pleasing, well and good. If the view is not pleasing, pick another seat. You know, do what you want to write information. The focus is the view, bro. The focus is the view. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. But you say no. You say no in applause. But anyways. No, you got to start. Yeah, it was. Depending on how you plan this, my depending. Depending on how you. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for how old do you know you segments. <laughs>